Shaber 1000 here. Monkey 1000. What are you doing, Monk? Going on a trip. All right. Going on a trip. Mm -hmm. Stick around. Okay, guys, so we're here. Yeah, we're here. We're in Oak Hammock Pots Preserve in Inverness, Florida. Uh, kind of a messed up fire ring, but it'll do what we need it to do. We had to drag this picnic table from over there. They tell you not to move, but somebody apparently did. Because there's a fire ring here and no fire ring over there. No picnic table here, but the picnic table is over there, so they didn't put it back. So we had to drag that over here. So we're going to put the tent right over there. Got some marshland there. Cool. So tomorrow, we're going to swing past the house. Drop Bruno off for a little bit. We're going to go fishing. Then we'll stop and pick him back up and come back out. So we're here for two days. Well, today, it's after four now. You can't come in until three, but nobody ever really says anything. Then we'll leave Thursday morning, so. Today's Tuesday. I think I just said that. So it should be pretty fun. I brought the, uh, you can see we'll be in some shade here, so. I brought the drone. I don't know if I can. Yeah, I think I can get the drone up through here. So, I doubt if it'll be today, but maybe tomorrow I'll get some drone footage and maybe take you over through that marsh. Not through it, but over the marsh and stuff. So, all right. I gotta get started and get the tent set up. And we'll be back with you. Okay, guys, so I just brought some charcoal. We're just going to have a couple steaks tonight and some mushrooms. Um, so I just brought some charcoal. It's supposed to be instant light. I'm going to try to light it with a spark. That don't work. I got one of these fire starters. If that don't work, I got a lighter. <laughs> so let's give this a shot here. All right. Let's try it. There it is. Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna let that burn down. And then, uh, so I can save this, I can put it back in the pack. And then I'll get the tripod set up. I won't bother you with that. And when that gets, gets ready, then we'll throw some steaks on. Okay, so Monkey graciously blew up my air mattress. My, well, it's, a, it's not a mattress, it's an air pad for me, didn't you, Monk? Yep. I had to threaten her. I asked her nicely three times. She said she wasn't going to do it. And I said, well, then I'm not going to cook. Really? No, that's a lie. She said, well, go get me your air mattress or air pad, sleeping pad, whatever. <laughs> so I went and got it for her and I started blowing up. And she said, no, I'll do that for you. So just waiting on the coals and the cold beer. And those of you guys, those of you that may just be joining me for the first time, that's Monkey. Uh, <laughs> but I don't do these close-up shots of processing wood and, you know, uh, first five minutes of video is me, 37 different angles, walking into the woods and then a close-up of setting the backpack down, a close-up of opening the backpack, a close-up of pulling out the hatch we get it I understand that to me that's just a waste of time I know I've I've said this before but if you're new here that a couple of channels I watch and I only watch them because I want to see if they have any new gear or any new recipes you know cooking which usually they all bring the wraps so we're just gonna throw a couple t-bones on the grill tonight but anyway it was a 47 minute video ended up after I cut up their video, yeah, I downloaded it and cut it up. I didn't upload it again. I just, for my own sake, after I cut out all the wood processing and the close-up shots of pulling out their knife and all that stuff, 
there was less than seven minutes of, of actual video where they was actually talking about things and you know showing you what they were cooking so 40 minutes of it was b-roll I'm not that way I like to talk to you guys and you know enjoy you guys I don't want to waste your time on you know and it, it they do it every video the first thing walking through the woods close up of stepping in that mud hut that mud puddle and I don't want to waste your guys' time like that. I know you want to see, you know, because to me, this is not the travel channel. This is YouTube. You know, I'm not a professional. Don't claim to be. I got some pretty decent equipment. But I've got, like, my, my equipment's all on automatic. I just want to make some decent videos and, you know, monkey and I bickering every once in a while. I mean, you know, this is true life. This is what really goes on, you know. Um, everything's not rainbow and you know i mean them guys do that and they spend more time moving their camera around to them it's a job they do it to make money i do too i make a little money but i don't want this to be a job to where i feel like man i don't feel good today i have to get out in the woods today because i got to get a video up i don't want it to be like that because when we get out in the woods we just want to kick back don't we huh yep so anyway once that gets ready or once something else pops up, monkey's got the tent. We're not putting the rain fly on because it's not supposed to rain. We're just going to put the rain fly in there. That way, if we have to, I can just get out of the tent and put it on real quick. But it's not supposed to rain, so. Uh, and that's all mesh top, you know, screen top. So it should be nice. You all right, Bruno? <laughs> okay, so I'll be back with you guys. Stick around, more to come. Okay, this dog, I thought he was smarter than that, but are you stuck? There he goes. Now go, keep going. <laughs> oh, the joys of having an adventure dog. Didn't know we had an onion. Yeah. All right, let's do this again. Didn't know we had an onion.
forgot my boiling cube. Oh well. Story time. For my new people, I do a story time every night. At least one story a night when we camp out. This one's not real spooky, but it's funny. Because when we start getting on these gravel roads, well, they're not really gravel down here. They're pretty much just sand and shale. Yeah. We don't have gravel roads here. But, so we're, we're on these dusty roads. She's going real slow. She's looking around. Yeah, this is cool. We're really far back in here, she said. And we didn't bring any deer spray. I said, what do we need deer spray for? She said, to spray at the deer if we get attacked. I said, I ain't scared of no deer. She said, what would you say? So you're, you'll fight a deer. And I said, well, I fought a deer before. She said, when have you fought a deer? I already told that story on our last camp out that we had to cut short because of the rising water. But anyway, <laughs> I said, I'm, I, I'm not afraid of any deer. She was like, well, I don't want any deer coming near me. We need to get some deer spray. <laughs> I said, you mean bear spray? She said, no, deer spray. Yeah, bear spray. <laughs> I mean, this went on for a good five minutes, didn't it? Yeah. A solid five. And then it, I was, it was just hurt me too bad. I couldn't do it anymore. <laughs> True story. She wants to get some deer spray. I don't know if we can find any. I'd have to look online, but I, meant bear spray. I think I could make some money selling it to people like her. Mm. She meant bear spray, but she said deer spray. I she know. just kept saying, I don't want no deer coming up to me. <laughs> In my brain, it was saying bear, but that one came out was saying deer. <laughs> True story. <laughs> They look good, don't they? Yep. Low and slow. Alright. Okay, so we're going to Get our mushrooms and onions. That was funny. She said, you get the onions? <laughs> Didn't know we had onions. <laughs> She's making a salad over there. That's what you're hearing there. And do you want the buffalo ranch or do you want this one? Just the regular stuff. Okay, okay. Um, we was going to just have macaroni salad, but Monkey not only forgot it, she forgot to buy it. Yeah. <laughs> I said, well, that's all right, because I forgot my boiling cubes. Yeah. So, all right, guys, we'll be back with you in just a minute. I'm going to cut into one of these. Look at that. I think, Mama. That looks good. All right. I'm ready. She said, I said, we got forks. She was like, yeah, I brought forks. And she said, I forgot steak knives. And she said, well, she said, I brought um, fork and knives. And uh, I said, okay. And she said, well, I forgot uh, steak knives. I'm thinking, well, that's okay. A knife will work. Well, turns out it was, here, you can use this one. Turns out she brought butter knives. <laughs> what was that? Did you hear that? Oh, my God. 
Did you guys hear that? We were just back in there too. Might have to do a Bigfoot hunt tonight. That wasn't no squirrel, I can tell you that. No. You think it was a bird? Like a big bird? <laughs> It'd be a pretty big bird. I told you to bring the deer spray. <laughs> okay, guys, so we're going to eat. Yep. Uh, you can hear our airboat in the background. I don't know what that was, but it was a big tree limb. Fowl or throne or something. I don't know, but it was loud. But... Monkey really needed a couple days of this. Two years ago, what, the 22nd? Her father passed away. My sister passed away a couple weeks ago. This is April. And her grandmother just passed away last night. Yep. Out in Canada. She was 94, so right. we tried to tried to tell her to, to stop the MMA fighting, but she wouldn't listen, so. <laughs> But no, she was uh, pretty much healthy, wasn't she? Yeah. She just, her body just gave out and she just, she was done. She didn't have a heart attack or anything. She just. Her body just was tired. Her yeah. oxygen level was dropping. Right. But yeah. Yeah. So it was just, we're not going to get into the medical right. part of it. But it, there, she didn't, well, what I'm saying was she didn't die of any certain thing. No. no. She just died of natural causes. So. Yeah. So anyway, she needed that, so please visit her channel, show her some love, and so we're going to go ahead and, yeah, I don't know what that bang was back there, something was either thrown or, or a big limb fell, evening. should be, we're going to put the uh, trail camera up, yep. so, that'll be interesting too, I hope it's not real interesting, no. We don't. We didn't have. We didn't bring any deer spray. So. No, you didn't bring the <laughs> deer spray. <laughs> so. Uh, hmm. So I'll probably have a knife. I couldn't find my machete. I'll probably bring the axe in with me. Something, you know, just in case. But uh, you know, Bruna didn't bark or anything. There are there are bears out here, but not a lot. I mean, no one has been attacked, so. No. And I did have that encounter a few years ago, but it was a couple miles away from here. But there are bear in here, so you got to kind of be careful. But I think we're going to be all right. So uh, maybe we'll do a Bigfoot hunt tonight. Ooh, that'd be fun. Got my night vision. I brought the big night vision light. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to eat. Gut camp dump. Gut dump. Gut dump. Yes. Yeah, see. Yeah. Yeah. I have to explain that to Monkey. I live right down the road on Turner Camp Road and that's always been here. Yeah. 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 But you think there'd be a lot more bones down there. Yeah. You don't know what that is, huh? No. It's just what it says, a gut dump. <laughs> so you take your guts and put them over there? Yeah. Like deer and stuff, yeah. Yeah. Ew. Yeah. That's yeah. nasty. Go so, ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway yeah that's what this is it's for people who got deer because there's a deer check-in station when you come in and uh this is just where you bring your guts and stuff as you can see there's a couple of bones down in there it's a lot darker than what it looks in this camera, but that's cool. I like that. There's one there. There's a bone. There's one there. This is what I don't like. can carry them in, but they can't carry them out. It's lighter carrying them out because they're empty. But, yeah, that monkey wouldn't even walk over here. But that's what that's for. It's the gut dump. 
yeah so we're just kind of walking through the park area here <laughs> just talking to a guy he lives just right up the road here he, he's just he's pretty close but yeah that's where you see there's a big pile right here see the bones mama see the bones Oh, I got it. Oh, wow. What kind of bones are those? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, they're not chicken bones or... No. <laughs> something like, you know... Because, you know, you hunt, they hunt in this area. Yeah. And when we came in, it was the fish cleaning area. That was also the deer check-in or turkey check-in or whatever. Right. But... Right. <laughs> this is the gut dump. This is where you can dump your guts from your deer when you... Ah. So that way they're not laying all over the place. Right. Kind of keeps control of the animals, you know, they're in one spot, so... Yeah, I've yeah, never see. seen a gut dump before. You've never seen a gut dump before? No. Bruno, you want a bone? No. <laughs> nice, go bravely. There it says, the gut dump. Gut. Dump. The gut dump? Yeah, you know guts. Yeah, for your yeah. guts. So only your guts go here. <laughs> Just animal parts. Oh, okay. <laughs> you hear that? Yeah. It's so pretty. Pretty, pretty. It's pretty cool. in here. Yeah, it's very nice in here. Maybe tomorrow I'll do a little bit more exploring. Yeah. When it's light and you this is a road, although you're not allowed past a certain point up there. But this is a road here, so it's easy walking. Uh, it says no vehicles, but uh, I, I imagine you can probably ride bicycles through here. I don't think they say anything. I'd like to hear, but I do. I'm not really near the water, but that's okay. It's not far. Yeah, she was saying about fishing. I was like, oh, well, there's no water. We can't fish there. And she was like, yeah. No fishing? I'm like, look, it's not a deal breaker because when we went to home of Sassa up on the Chaz River, right. we had to drive to go fishing. Yeah, we did. So, you know, same so. thing here. It's, it's like a not even, what, a five minute drive maybe right. right. to go to the river. Right on out here, there's a little marsh. It's got some water, like a creek flowing through it we may give that a try right so it's not a deal breaker because it's beautiful and it's, it's free yeah it's so free so it's nice because i mean if we have to leave you don't feel like you're, ha you're losing we your paid money. we paid how much a night up at chaz up in home assassin and like we still what? and we still had to drive to go fishing right this yeah, is free now this That's is primitive crazy. there's no no electric there is pot um non-potable water so you got water for washing up and stuff yeah but i mean that's what i like is places like this no electric just bring battery power you know whatever right, right. uh no water it's not a big deal we bring water anyhow so yeah. Yeah, we always bring water all right so i'll be back with you yep. okay guys we've got our fire going those are that's a fake fire those are those fire logs Monkey picked up six of them at Walmart. That'd be good enough for tonight. Might build a real fire. There's plenty of wood around here to burn if we want. And we've got our uh, lantern. It's about 10 feet up probably, maybe 11. So that way the hopes is we also have our bug light over there and our citronella candle the hope is it works like it did the last time well last couple times we did this it took the mosquitoes away from us and over to that light so it helped a lot didn't it mama oh yeah and there's a party light over there changing colors <laughs> all right cool beans Nice. Mm -hmm. There's something crashing through these woods. 
Oh my gosh, should I get through now? And get in the car? Oh my God, is that a bear? I told you that bird got quiet. Oh my God. Should I get Bruno? Yeah, get, get Bruno and get him in the car. Whatever that is, is big. Need the big flashlight. That was big. And he is I told you that bird got quiet. Yeah, you did. Oh, come on. That was huge. What is it? I don't know. I don't know if you guys heard that. Wow. Whatever it was, it was big. There was a bird. I told her if that thing gets quiet. And it did. Whatever that thing was, it was big. I thought maybe I could pick up some eyes. Whatever it was, was stomping around through there like crazy. What bugs me is it just stopped. It didn't get lighter and lighter. So he's watching us. It's still there, yeah. Because it just stopped, you know. Yeah. I told her, I got, I got this thing over around that limb, and then down here wrapped around this mirror. I said, if bad stuff starts happening, we're only going to lose a mirror and a lantern, and I'm good with that. <laughs> Maybe I'll leave Bruno in the car for a bit. Make sure he keeps I don't know if you guys heard that, but... As soon as that bird got quiet, I told her. I said, there's something back there that spooked that bird. And all at once. That was big. That, that wasn't no deer. You think that was a bear? It had to be a bear. Really? It had to be. A deer ain't going to make that kind of noise. That thing was thrashing around. Yeah. A deer just, all you hear is... And that's pretty much it. Oh. Oh my. That had to be a bear. Or there's only one other thing that, that that's that big. What? Sam squanch. What about a wild hog? Well, I don't it wasn't grunting. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because a wild hog, hog, when they root around, like, and, and they'll usually just take off running. Well, tell him to go away. I don't want him, I don't want him to go away. I want him to go away. Yeah, but it didn't get quieter and quieter. No, he's... It was just thr thrashing around and stopped. That's freaking right. And it ain't a panther, because they're down south more. Well, we have had them here. Yeah, but that's not a panther, I guarantee you. Very rare, though. That's not, yeah. That, that had to be a bear or Sasquatch. Which, there's no Sasquatches sightings around here. No, but you remember when you were boating and you heard all those noises, and we're, cl we're, cl we're not that far from that where you were over there. No. That solo camping. No, it would be over that way a few miles. And it would actually make sense. Well, I've seen them eyes over in the mangroves. So it makes sense that it would be over this way. But There's a lot of woods over here. I guarantee you any outdoorsman, comment below 
and tell me that was not or you know I hope you got it because they'll I hopefully you, you heard it because uh, a deer won't thrash around like that a deer will just choo, 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 and run away this thing was this thing was big and it was really like like it was two feet like it, it was just thrashing around in these Let me get my big IR light and then I'll step in there and see what I can see. Okay, so Are you sure you want to do that? I can't see anything, only what's through the screen. See, there's there's the little IR light. There's the big IR light. Whatever that was, guys, was freaking huge. I'm not kidding you. This thing was really thrashing. I don't know why my lights flickering. Alright, I'm back in here. Huh? Did you see no, but I heard something. <sighs> okay guys, let me get my composure. Beer time. It was right in here. I was waiting on it to bust out through here. See, there's a nice trail through here. Right here in this area is where it was thrashing around. <clears throat> I was waiting on it to come busting out through there. Honestly, guys, I I don't know of any Bigfoot sightings or called skunk ape down here, but in this area so it had to be a bear but when we heard it before i turned the camera on we heard it creeping up on us and it sounded just like this like two feet walking Hopefully you guys heard it because whatever that was was freaking huge.
This is, uh, this is disturbing. I'll have to come out here in the morning, see what I can see. I think whatever it was is still here. Because it just got, it just stopped all at once. And we haven't heard it since. But as you can hear, I'm trying to be real quiet. We would have heard it walking away. So something's still in there. the scariest thing next to that bear incident but still that wasn't that scary because I seen him I can, he was like from here to the tent away from me and he wasn't like real threatening or growling or anything like that so I think this qualifies as I really believe the scariest thing I've ever been through while on a camping trip A little path right through there. There's a path right behind the tent. You're okay. No. No, I'm not moving the tent now. <laughs> I hit the wrong button in the woods there, and I shut off the light. All right, I'll be back with you guys. Okay, so. Got the trail cam here. I was getting ready to set it up and something was right here and just started moving around. So I backed off and grabbed this camera. Okay, well, I'm just going to keep it rolling because she said she couldn't get up out of the chair, so she got down on all fours. <laughs> I said, were well, you rolling? Because she said, I can't get up. <laughs> and I said, were well, you rolling? She said, I couldn't get up. I said, well, that ain't got nothing to do with your camera being turned on. Okay. It's counting now. Kick on. Let me shut this light off. Yeah, kick on. See it? So if I turn this on night vision, if I cover that up, the difference. So, yeah, monkey scary. I was going to take it way back in there, but we heard it. It was right here. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> we'll keep you posted, guys. Okay, guys, I'm just going to let you roll for a few minutes. Some noises back here, like something just threw something. That sounded metallic. You know, like a can or something. Hopefully it didn't break my camera. The camera's over there, is it? No, that metallic noise was here. The growl was over there. Or snort, or whatever it was, so... 
Maybe there's more than one like you said. Okay, so that was something way off. You rolling too? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to let you guys roll for a minute. If I don't get anything, I'll cut here. I shouldn't be looking at my screen. I'm afraid I'll see some eyes in my screen. What are you laughing at? You're what? falling off the chair. Maybe we should turn all the lights off. No. Why? Because I can't see it. I got night vision. I can see it. No, I can't. If I turn the night vision on. Yeah, it's pretty disturbing. Mm -hmm. I don't think it'd be a homeless person I'm trying to scare her. We've been over that. That was bigger than a person. The way that thing was thrashing around. Think about it. You hear something? Where? Right behind me? Mm -hmm. Like right behind me or? Right there, between the two of them. Falls where it caught on fire? More than likely. Why? Just because I have to run. What do you mean, run? Get in the car and take off? And don't worry about that. If you gotta run, get in the car and take off, go. Well, I'm gonna start a forest fire. That'd be the least of your worries. Like almost directly behind me. Make some animal noises. <coughs> Maybe if we bring Bruno out. No, oh, you don't use your dog for prey. <laughs> for prey. Bruno. <laughs> Teach his family he is. Keep looking at my screen. If my I, thing is... I swear to God, if I see two eyes in that screen, I'm the hell out of here. My thing is, like, we saw the ponds behind you that are down, and over there they're down. And they're down over here in between these two trees, but we thought, well, you know, maybe people put hammocks over there. 
But we also saw that print over there. It yeah. was pretty big print. That was a big print. Don't know what it would be though. Because it really, it was like kind of smushed, so you couldn't really make out the toes, but you knew it was a print. It was big. It was bigger than a human print. It was long. Yeah. Because it was in the sand. And there was only one. Well, yeah, that's all you find. Because that's the only little patch of sand there, there was in that area. Right. The rest is like this. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're not leaving prints. No. But if you step in a little patch of sand, you'll get a print. Mm -hmm. That was over there. That was over there. It's over there. Alright guys, we're going to turn you guys off and I'll come back. Maybe. I'm throwing stuff. Wish I had something to throw. Pick up a stick and throw. There ain't no stick, that's what I'm saying. I just put two in the fireplace. I'm not throwing a burning stick into the woods, are you nuts? No, there's salt kinds. No, it's something heavy. Why don't you make a, a, a weapon out of a pawn and make it pointy? Make a one. You want me to make a spear? Yeah. That was big. Did you hear that thump? get it riled up. There's some food out there, he'll come. <laughs> yeah. Probably like their steak, that's what it was. I mean, as soon as the sun goes down, boom. We have a relaxed sense. Not true. It was broad daylight when that big branch got thrown. Yeah, we heard that, yeah. And it didn't like... <laughs> uh -uh. Hopefully my camera picked that up because I was rolling. Yeah. But I had them pointed down. So hopefully that mic picked it up. I mean, it was just a crash. Right. It wasn't like a limb. <laughs> yeah. It just this one crack. Probably just an animal, but it had to be a big animal. I'm telling you, that was make that was making some noise. I've heard boar, and coyotes, and stuff running around. This was thrashing. Mm -hmm. Almost kind of like it was shaking a tree. Yeah, yeah. That's what Sasquatch does: shakes trees. As soon as I turned that light on, it just stopped. Mm -hmm. It didn't, like it was running away, it just stopped. Like it just stopped all of a sudden, you know, just... I didn't see any eyes in the light. I'll have to look at the footage, but... Because <coughs> I was kind of looking in the screen, so... I mean, it could have, maybe the camera picked something up, I don't know. Hopefully it picked up that thrashing around. Well, you want to shine it back there? If you want to. 
No, I was asking you. I know that. No, I said, do you want to shine it around? Yeah, okay. I didn't say go back in there. I know you won't go back in there. Oh. She don't even want to go in the tent. Nope. What? It's on the ground, hun. I'm making sure it's not in the tree. It's on the ground. Everything we're hearing is on the ground. It's on the ground. See that? That was on the ground. Did you hear it? See that? Shine over this way. Alright guys, I'll kick you on shortly. <laughs> Easy. Stop. He's wagging his tail. Like some he knows something's coming. I know. Well where's it coming from? I don't know. If you'd be quiet, maybe I can hear it. He wasn't happy about something. Huh? Like won't work. Why? It won't, it won't connect. Well, you gotta give it a minute. It, it's been a minute. Calm down. I think you don't like Bruno. Well, Bruno don't like whatever it is either. Mm -mm. <coughs> he was ready to leap off of you. Yeah. Jesus. 
That's a big freaking spider. And I seen it clear from over there. I seen these eyes. Oh, it's got an egg sac. Ugh. Wow. I seen its eyes from clear over here. That's a big spider. That was, yeah. I seen these eyes from clear over here. Okay, so a little update. It's about 11 o'clock right now. Maybe we're just psyching ourselves out, but there's not a cloud in the sky. And all at once, there was just this breeze come through. A cold, it wasn't a gentle breeze, just, and it left as fast as it came. Then the Seminole wind just came through for no reason. No, there's no reason for that. No. Mm -mm. Nothing. There's, there's not a cloud in the sky. I don't think my camera can pick up the stars but but I assure you there is not a cloud in the sky nothing but stars out all right we'll keep you posted on the next Shea Bear 1000. So he sees something or hears something. There's something out here, guys. Oh, there's stuff at night, so, okay. Go ahead and shut that off.